I just got back from Luton Town 2, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Am I happy with the three points? You bet. I'm, I'm delighted. Three points, back-to-back -back wins. It's great. It, it's a feeling that we haven't had for a long time. Am I happy with the performance, though? No. The performance was absolutely terrible, with the exception of the last 10 minutes. Here are my thoughts about the first half. It was a pretty appalling first half. And for me personally, it was compounded by getting a hot chocolate. And it was without doubt the worst hot chocolate I've ever had at Kenilworth Road anywhere. It was terrible. But enough about the hot chocolate. Let's talk about the referee who also made the first half absolutely atrocious. He would not let the game flow whatsoever. There were three absolutely atrocious decisions, two involving Tahith Chong. One where Tahith Chong won a tackle, he got the ball and Luton were on the, on the break. It got called back, which was not right. Another one with a quick throw in, Tahith Chong got taken out, nothing given. The ref did not let the game Game flow at all that was the case for both teams really but in the first half he quite rightly got booed off at the end of the first half because in the first half it was a case of most of the decisions were going against Luton Town and there was no consistency with these decisions that were going against us the second half started a bit better however Sheffield Wednesday got on top quite quickly and they were pressing and oh just a, a word on the first half as well we we're lucky not to be one goal down a sweet ball from Barry Bannon came in Josh Windass denied point blank by Thomas Kaminsky it was a good performance from Thomas Kaminsky and that was a good save he didn't know much about it but he made himself big and that could have been going in at the break one goal down fortunately we didn't and then it's a case of in the second half there was nothing from us. And the changes that we made on the 83rd minute, that is what really changed the game for us. Yes, the penalty was in the 75th minute, but up until then, we weren't really threatening. All our chances that we created were from set pieces, nothing from open play. It really is quite concerning because Rob Edwards has this philosophy. And with this philosophy, we're meant to be playing possession-based football, creating chances from open play, but that's just not happening. Well, it didn't happen until the 80th minute and onwards. And I'll tell you what, Thomas Krause and Victor Moses changed the game. Or was the game changed because Deshaun Barnard was sent off? I reckon it was the former. It was about Krause and Moses because realistically, when a team has a man sent off, it actually makes it harder to play against them because they go deep, they go compact. But you know what? We got the ball out to Victor Moses and every single time he just ran and ran at their defense he looks like he's gonna be an absolutely tremendous piece of business he hasn't lost a yard of his pace some of the crosses that he was sending in they looked on the money they looked absolutely fantastic I'm so excited to have him at our club same with Tom Krause such a willing runner I can see what Uli Hebel said to me when he said Tom Krause isn't too great with the ball at his feet yeah, I can get that. I can understand that. But you know what? Tom Krause, in his interview with Three Counties Radio, he said that Rob Edwards has been working with him on that. It really shows. You can see there's a little bit of, you know, sometimes miscontrol, but you know what? He passes the ball, he runs, he shows for the ball in return. And fair play, Tom Krause. He's going to be a fan favourite. No doubt about it. What a player we have on our hands there. I just hope there's an option to make it a permanent. It's crazy to think that the majority of our chances came in the last 10 minutes. It really felt like that's when the tide really turned. And just a word as well on the penalty incident. I've watched it back now with the header from McGuinness and then the rebound shot that came in. You can see that Deshaun Barnard has actively made himself bigger with his arms. Yes, he's kept them in, but he's kept the ball out with his arm. And that is textbook handball or arm ball. It was on purpose. And I think quite rightly, it was a clear goal scoring opportunity. The ball was going in the net and he's blocked it with his upper arm, not his shoulder. So yes, I think quite rightly, Deshaun Barnard got his marching orders. Shame it was a slow march. It took an age to get off the pitch and that actually led to 10 minutes of extra time. And you know what? Sheffield Wednesday, they did threaten 
once in that time they forced a good save from Kaminsky but I thought at the end of the game the tide had very much turned and Luton Town could have got a third it's a shame we didn't get a third it would have put a gloss on uh, on a performance that wasn't really a stellar one let's put it that way it was good to see back-to-back -back wins as I said Rob Edwards he didn't really get the fist pumps out today he didn't he went round he went down the tunnel so quickly he applauded the fans but from the look of his face and how quickly he went down the tunnel i get the feeling he knows that it wasn't a good enough performance too but there's a lot more to come from this team the squad looks excellent defensively we looked great other than the error from Alfie Doughty for uh, Barry Bannon's goal which you know it happens it was a quick turnover they got in behind ball comes across it was a really sweet strike from Barry Bannon like say what you want about his absolutely dodgy Barnet, he can hit a ball it's amazing that Sheffield Wednesday have managed to keep hold of him for so long what a player he is but really there isn't much to talk about with this game it wasn't it wasn't a vintage performance and it doesn't feel like a win. I, I was discussing with my dad in the car, like, are we going to be happy coming back? Because we haven't seen many wins recently. It was a weird one because although we've come back with the three points, the performance has left me feeling kind of just flat. There wasn't really too much to get excited about outside of the last 10 minutes. I will say Colton Morris took his goal, his second goal, really well. Of course he was going to score the penalty. Colton Morris, he always, you know, he gives the eyes and he sends the keeper the wrong way every single time without fail. The second goal though, ball sent in by Jordan Clark. He has a shot, pinball in the box, carnage, Colton Morris, chest, swivel, put it in. Good old Colton. And I will say, this box midfield that we're playing, it just isn't working. Like, Jordan Clark kind of does look a bit lost in this formation. But we've been saying all along, two in midfield doesn't work. So, okay, how about a four in midfield and an isolated Elijah Adebayo? That also doesn't work because today, Elijah Adebayo was up against three central defenders. And it was just too easy. It was too easy for Sheffield Wednesday to handle Elijah Adebayo for the first 60 minutes. You know what? We have to go for Colton Morris and Elijah Adebayo up top together. You can drop one of Tahith Chong or Jordan Clark. My, my preference would be Jordan Clark. Like he can play for game time with Liam Walsh. A like marvellous Nakamba for me, he has to start. We have to get as many minutes as, as we can out of Marvellous Nakamba. But for now, the box midfield isn't working. When you play a team with a back three, you need those two two big men to occupy the central defenders because otherwise you end up with an isolated striker up top but those are my thoughts like what did you think of the win today did you think it was a good three points did you think it was a good performance let me know in the comments below and if you love the content from the okay football show please like this video and subscribe for even more Luton Town content it wasn't vintage but it was three points Come on, you hatters.